a slightly preposterous new apocalyptic drama from Luther creator Neil Cross and a new series, of the singing contest Agnes Dean in Hard Sun. Photograph, Robert Viglaski slash BBC slash Houston Films with Hard, Sun, Neil Cross, the man behind Luther, doesn't so much delve into his sack of police show cliches as tip them all out and start hurling them at the audience like a frustrated chimp at Chester Zoo. Jim Sturgis and Agnes Dean are cops who stumble across information about the impending apocalypse, but where Dennis Kelly dealt with similar conspiracy fodder, with dark humor and Channel 4's flawed utopia. This is hilariously po-faced. Ben Arnold Hughes, Wild West 6.15 p.m., BBC Two viewers might brace themselves for a Fernley Whitting still travelogue on Dodge, City, and flimsier concepts have been commissioned. However, this is an amiable saunter through the Y Valley and the Forest of Dean, participating in such bucolic pursuits as fishing. For minnows, contemplating the life of Britain's only aquatic songbird, and meeting the IT guy who has employed his expertise to record his garden's wildlife. Andrew Muller Take Me Out, 7 p.m., ITV A New Year. A new series of Take Me Out, and a chance to see whether Paddy McGuinness received a new joke for Christmas. A collection of 30 single women join Paddy in hope more than expectation that a lingering love interest will be lowered awkwardly into theirs. Tonight's collection of clods coaxed towards Paddy's love lift include a Glaswegian hairdresser, a rugger lover from Surrey and a children's entertainer from Southport. Mark Jibbings, Jones The Voice UK 8pm, ITV warm up those vocals and get ready to spin. The chairs of tune, it's time for the new series of the warbling contest. This, year, will I am, Tom Jones and Jennifer Hudson return with former X Factor crazy legs Olly Myers, taking the place of Gavin Rossdale on the coaching panel. Yes, they're coaches, not judges, weeks of blind auditions come first and if the voices in question are enough to, impress, the lucky singers will go through to the battle phase. Hannah Verdia feud, Betty, and Joan 9.15pm, BBC 2 A Study in Contained Pain. This wickedly entertaining series also offers untimely commentary on the horrors of Hollywood. As it concludes, we get to the heart of the star's fragilities, Crawford as the beauty desperate to be taken seriously, and Davis as the actor longing to be considered beautiful. The latter recalls an exec's early appraisal, who would want to fuck that? She remembers. I was 22, and nobody ever had. Sophie Harris BG's Live in Melbourne 1989 6.45pm, Sky Arts Among the highlights of last year's Glastonbury was the sight of a bespectacled 70-year-old gent absolutely smashing it on the pyramid stage, while wearing a gold bomber jacket and chirruping like a budgie. Here's more from Barry and his brothers Gib at the National Tennis Centre in Oz, performing the glorious likes of Stayin' Alive, Jive Talkin', How Deep Is Your Love, Islands in the Stream and You Should Be Dancing. You really should. Ali Catterall Maritime, Silk Road Reborn 7 p.m., National Geographic in 1416, Imperial China's treasure fleet was set the task of sailing further west than had ever been attempted previously, all the way to Africa. Presenter Sam Willis re-recaps this journey and explains its significance in establishing the networks of global trade that persist today. Moreover, he interviews members of the large community of Africans who have settled in China and consider themselves fully integrated Chinese. David Stubbs, film choice The Hunger Games. Mock and Jay Part 2, Francis Lawrence, 2015, 9 p.m. Channel 4 The Hunger Games. Mock and Jay Part 2. Photograph, All Star Slash Lionsgate at last. It's the final battle against evil, President Snow, Donald Sutherland and the forces of his corrupt state, in this overstretched conclusion, to the Suzanne Collins trilogy. It's a gloomy affair, dark in both its dystopian themes, the Stygian black in which much of the action unfolds. Jennifer Lawrence's Katniss Everdeen, is the gladiator who, despite her doubts about the brutal methods of her commander, Coyne, Julian Moore, remains the beating heart of the resistance. Paul Holit Bleatoon, Oliver Stone, 1986. 11.05 p.m., if Fort Charlie Sheen stars as a young recruit confronted by one of the dilemmas of 1960s America, why are we in Vietnam? Moving queasily through the horrors of the war, he is accompanied by good and bad sergeants slash angels, Tom Berenger's Savage, 
amoral Barnes and Willem, Defoe's decent Elias. A viscerally powerful, heartfelt work. Paul Holit Mr. Nice, Bernard Rose, 2010. 110 a.m. Film 4 adapted from the autobiography of Howard Marks. This is a light-hearted, Bernard Rose-tinted portrait, of the world's once most famous drug trafficker. It follows his career from the Welsh Valleys, to Oxford University, hash smoker to 70s drug baron, dealing with the IRA, MI6 and, the Mafia along the way. Marx is played with guilt-free charm by Reese fans. Paul Holat lives sport FA Cup football, Fleetwood Town v Leicester City the third round fixture from, Highbury Stadium. Norwich City v Chelsea is on BT Sport 2 at 5pm, 12.45pm, BBC, 1 Pro 14 Rugby Union, Ospreys v Cardiff Blues coverage from the Liberty Stadium in Swansea, 3pm, Sky Sports main event Ashes Cricket, Australia v England the penultimate day of the, series from Sydney, 11pm, BT Sport 1.